I showed up from Saskatchewan to get on the school bus and um, and uh, let's see here <laughs> and uh, for, and of course I was dressed like Jerry Lee Lewis because I thought these hillbillies in Cincinnati would that would go over big but of course as soon as I stepped on the bus a wall of fists came from the back of the bus aimed for my jaw and the one guy that connected because I was a big guy and the one guy that jumped up and got me they said, oh, don't mind him, that's Pete Rose. So later on and a couple years later, um, I was at Western Hills High School, and of course, a gang of hoodlums was waiting outside to jump me after school as usual. So this day I'm walking out ready to jump with the guys, the six guys all surrounding me. And Pete comes walking by and goes, hey, I'm with Nelson. Bang, and we banged and knocked them all out, and they ran off screaming. And then later on that year, the coaches were assigned Pete to make an athlete out of me because I was so big. I was from a farm in Saskatchewan. And he would leave in tears every day because I was so bad. But he, he forged my signature on the football team sign-up sheet and I was partying in Saskatchewan with my friends when my mom called and said hey the school called you got to be at football practice in three days I was like I would never my parents would never make me do something like that but this time they fucking made me do it I went out for football and wound up getting the trophy which I got here somewhere that year and I'm became an athlete and that but but then that but the point is I, I you know I go to school and, and Howie Wyatt's my my uh, piano teacher who of course was Bob Dylan's drummer um, and, but anyway there's, there's him there's, uh, there's uh, Felix Caballero the Rascals all guys I know or your biggest stars in the world that I happen to know and I know that that is the worst thing that can ever happen to you is to be famous, big, I mean, maybe, you can never be rich enough for it to be worth it. So you didn't bet on baseball? No, fuck no, here's what happened. Okay, back to the story. I wind up being hired as the photographer for the some company to take the picture of Pete, uh, have an interview with him after he got 2160, and I'm waiting off the field, and of course he didn't get ahead in Cincinnati we had to go to New York so I'm in New York and he hits 2160 and and I'm back there and the crowd's all back there and they hand him the phone and say hey Pete it's the president and there's all he's on there and he goes how you doing you know and somebody grabs the phone and, and Reagan is left on the line going and I just want to say this, what a great country I've made for you to have your big hit on, you know, whatever. And they said, oh, Mr. President, he's no longer on the line. What? He hung up on me? I'm going to get him. So Reagan only got into a position of power so he could punish the long hairs. By the time he got in office, long hair was out. Nobody in America had long hair except Pete Rose. And he said the uh, Warren Rose was very successful. So listen, he railroaded Pete Rose. He hired Bart Giamatti to fucking make up a stupid fucking stupid charge. And they knew, Pete knows, like everybody else, that everybody, what he did was what every fucking ball player has done for 2,000 years. And Cincinnati's never been the same since. He never, he, he didn't do anything. It was fucking Reagan sent Bart Giamatti, who was a lying piece of shit mob fucking asshole, who should have never, and they trumped up no case at all, nothing against him, and ran it in the fucking press. And that's what Reagan has done to everybody in America. You are fucked. Ronald Reagan's up your ass, man. You don't have shit. You don't know anything. You don't know what it's like. Street. <laughs> no, Ronald Reagan fucked your country. You got nothing, man. That's how we, and and we've been fucked the worst we could ever until the worst, the most despised piece of shit in human history. 
This is a fact. That takes him out of territory. Trump is the most despised public figure by a thousand times in all of human history. And you live in a country that's acting like, well, um, he didn't do enough to stop it. And you heard him. Let's go get him and get Go to take it up and take our country back or else we won't have a country. Go get him. Shoot, Clint. You got him on camera saying this. But then you got and you got an American media that's going, Oh, you didn't hear that? We're just wondering if he didn't try. Now he's got he didn't try that hard to to kill people in, in the Capitol. So let's let him on. Oh, this Republican wants to run. He didn't try that hard to help Trump.